What's up, family? If it's your first time checking out the show, let me know what city, what state you're coming in from. If you're outside of the U.S., let me know what country you represent. Family, I need you to smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. Also, if you have not done so already, after you subscribe, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that thing right now so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be in the loop. I'm going to let a few hundred of you come in first, and then I'll give you my take on what's going on here. What's up? Who is that? Balls Deep. What's up? What's up, T. Wilson? Richard Harper. What up, Keith? Keith tapping. What it do? What it do? Sparkle Thickness. Teflon 269. What's up? Joanne Rayford. Good morning. Good morning, Leah Patton. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going in, fam. I'm going in. I'm going in, fam. The autopsy report. Let's talk about the autopsy report for Stephen Twitch Boss. The autopsy report, which typically occur after the request or at the request of the family member or if the individual dies unexpectedly, provides a significant breakdown of the subject's physical state in the hopes of providing an answer to the cause of death. In most cases, not all, but in most cases, the autopsy report confirms what we already known about the celebrity's passing. But others reveal secrets that the public, and in some cases, the celebrity themselves may not have known. Sometimes, the art, it's not what the autopsy reveals that is more telling, it's what the autopsy does not reveal. In the case of Stephen Twitch Boss, the DJ for the Ellen Show, the autopsy did not reveal any alcohol or drug use. No alcohol, no drug use. Yet, they will have us to believe that this man just offed himself. You need more, you, you need, do you need more uh, uh, receipts to, to make you a, a little bit more doubtful about what they're saying happened? Let's take it back. Let's go back to the time that uh, we heard about the death. Immediately, we get the news that Twitch was found dead at a motel. I'm talking about a seedy motel. This is a millionaire a seedy motel near his home, about one mile from his home, where he, they have us to believe that he walked to. First, there was some reports about him catching an Uber, but, you know, ain't no Uber driver nowhere to be found, right? So they immediately say that, you know, they saw a gunshot, it was a gunshot wound to the head. And it was a suicide. Yet we, yet we had early, we heard early reports that one of the housekeepers or one of the maids or whatever saw the body and there was no blood near his head. <clears throat> Moving on. Everybody was waiting to see how the wife would respond. The wife goes to 
Instagram a few days later, thanking the public for their support. And she's showing, uh, uh, appearing to show that she is distraught over all of this, right? This revelation that her husband and father of her kids has passed. But let's back up a little bit before that. She immediately released a statement after he was uh, found dead, saying that, uh, basically accepting the death. Now listen, fam. In the days after, she said that Stephen didn't have a history of health or mental health problems. He didn't have a history of mental health problems. They wasn't facing any financial distress. So, and they were in marital bliss. They wasn't having any problems in their marriage. Now, family, you know, usually when somebody commits suicide, it's either relationship based or financial based. Typically, it's always, almost all, all the time, relationship or finances, right? And then you may have some other reasons uh, like um, when a person might be um, facing some type of chronic illness, right? Or maybe when it comes to youngsters, they get bullied a lot. So they can't, they can't take bullying. So they off themselves. Not understanding that bullying is one of those things that's temporary and you will get past it. But some of them, they just feel like the easy way out is to just end their lives. So let's recap this thing. Stephen Twitch Boss is not facing any type of financial distress. He's not under any financial distress. His marriage is, is going great. He doesn't have any history of mental problems. No history of suicide attempts. He didn't talk to his wife about any type of suicidal thoughts. Yet, he goes to a motel a, a, a mile away from his house, and he checks into the motel and he shoots himself in the head, dead, without leaving any type of clue, no note or anything as to why. He didn't leave a video, he didn't leave a note, he didn't leave audio, he didn't leave nothing, didn't give, didn't talk to anybody on the phone and say, hey man, I'm feeling down. Yo, man, uh, man, I'm, I'm really upset right now. I'm thinking about killing myself. Well, I might hurt myself, get here fast. Just nothing. And he just killed himself? Come on, family. Now, I know some of y'all saying, man, let it go, man, it happened. No, man, I want somebody to ride for me. If something like this happened to me, I want somebody to ride for me because I ain't got it, baby. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not suicidal. I ain't going to be suicidal. So I would want somebody to ride for me. Keep the story alive. I, I, Because I do believe like when you speak on these type of things and you start like putting it out there, there is somebody who got enough power who will come forward. Somebody would say, somebody who got enough power and courage to say, yo, something here, this don't sound right, man. I'm, I'm a professional here. You know, this, this is something I should have been on already. 
there's a, there's a person out there right now who got the power, perhaps could even be listening to this video right now, got, who got the power to bring forth, to reopen an investigation. Well, I don't even think that was an investigation at all, but to start an investigation into his death, the cause of death. Like, why would this man just kill himself? It don't make no sense. Come on, you professionals out there. I ain't even a professional. I'm not an investigator, and I know that much that that man didn't just kill himself. It don't make sense. This is why I say in the title that the wife could be arrested soon because I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I mean, come on, ladies. Ladies, help me out. Come on, ladies. Help me out. Help me out. You, you have a great relationship with your husband. Oh, that's the man of your dreams. You got him. You got three beautiful children with this man. You have a whole life and you got plans. with. The, you make TikTok videos on the daily dancing with this man. This is your dance partner. This guy is your soulmate. You get news that he killed himself. Y'all ain't got no problems. Y'all ain't got no financial issues, nothing. But you get a phone call and find out that they have identified a man in a hotel room as the father of your children, your husband, who killed himself. And in a few hours, you release a statement just accepting it. He ain't got no history of mental problems. Y'all ain't got no issues in y'all relationship. And you just accept it. You don't come out with a statement like, this doesn't make any sense. I, my husband was killed. I know he was murdered. There is no way possible. Do you just accept it or do you do the latter? There's no way possible my husband killed himself. It doesn't make sense. He loved his children too much. He loved me too much. He loved his parents and friends too much. He loved life too much to just kill himself. It doesn't make sense. I believe this man was murdered. And I also believe that the wife know more than what she's telling. Going into the comments. Alicia Eel, what up? Nothing speed. What's up, nothing speed? Ruth Robinson. Valerie Robinson, what's up? Essay, Essay says she showed no emotion. And fam, look, this, this, I don't, it's something, it's just this story for me, just certain things, you know, like I know I report about a lot of stories and I cover a whole lot of, uh, a, a lot of, topics and i'm gonna tell you something i didn't even know twitch i had i didn't know who he was until he died but in certain cases like this one and uh that of the girl who died in the cool in chicago who was murdered found in you know it's certain things you know uh certain kind of cases that you just be like no nah, man Something ain't right here, man. Something is not right. And so I smell conspiracy. The police accepted his death as a suicide way too easily. They just, uh, looks like suicide to me. Boom, suicide. 
the media, the mainstream media who is usually nosy, likes to pick stuff apart. They just suicide, boom, next story. What's going on? Are people afraid to talk about this case because they suspect that perhaps their life can be in danger? Did everybody get a memo? All right, look here, man. This is going to be a homicide. No, but I said, hey, look here, man. This is going to be a homicide. That doesn't sound, I didn't, look, I didn't, I'm not telling you what it sounds like. This is going to be a homicide. I mean, this is going to be a suicide. This is suicide. Okay. Okay. I got you. Suicide. Okay. All right. Okay. Suicide. Keep it moving. I can accept if something was a suicide and all of the signs were there. Or some of the signs. Ain't no sign. We're not talking about all, some, none. There were no signs at all. Y'all know family. Everybody who's ever committed suicide and the family accepted the family say, yo, yeah, we had an argument. Yeah, marriage ain't been perfect. Yeah, we're facing some financial difficulties. Yeah, he's been feeling very unaccomplished lately. Yeah, he tried to commit suicide before. Yes, he said he was going to kill himself. Something. Give me something, man. Give me something. I'm not some bleeding heart conspiracy theorist. I'm just a man with an opinion that I think is very valid. And I think these questions that I'm asking are common questions that anybody who can think on a rudimentary level should be asking. Why would Twitch kill himself if he had no history of suicidal thought. Typically, when, even, with, even if somebody does commit suicide, they're not gonna commit suicide the very first time they have a thought of suicide. It's usually thinking things through over and over. There's usually some type you can, the family, the friends know their energy. They can read into the energy. They can say, yo, yeah, he was down. Yeah, he was experiencing this or that. Yeah, we had a problem. Uh, yeah, it's something, right? But in this situation, nothing. This is the video. Uh, this is a screenshot of the wife uh, after uh, she got the news that he died. Well, yeah, this is the video, yeah, that she shared online. Uh, following, following his death. <sighs> Looks like a happy couple to me. You just look like Everything's cool. Maybe this is what's throwing everybody off. Oh, she looks too happy. No way possible she could know anything other than what she's telling. No way possible she could be involved. No way. Huh. It's a cold game, fam. 
It's a cold, cold game. I thought the police said there was a letter in the room. Well, let's see about that. You know what? I do vaguely remember something like that. Uh, Twitch letter. Uh, Twitch boss left suicide note hinting, hinting at past challenges, hinting. Okay, Stephen, Twitch boss left a suicide note that vaguely alluded to old challenges he faced before his death in a California motel this week. And that was back in uh, December, y'all. So uh, December of uh, 2022. Uh, let's see, law enforcement sources told TMZ that the beloved Ellen DeGeneres show DJ left the note in the Los, a in Los, Angeles, Los Angeles motel room where he set his phone to airplane mode to make sure concerned family and friends could not find him. It made an ambiguous nod to pass challenges according to the outlet, which said it was unclear exactly what he was referring to. Uh, la, 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 la. Okay, that's what it was. So, okay, so yeah, they uh, were saying that about this letter, but they never let us know what the letter was about. That's why I, I didn't, uh, I forgot about the whole letter thing because that was, he didn't, they didn't tell us specifically what that letter included. Let's see. Stephen lit up every room he stepped into, his wife Holker said, uh, in a heartbreaking statement confirming her husband's death. Let's see. We're talking about his wife, Allison Holker, who is a uh, pro dancer. Okay, they, so they said, uh, the 40 year old father of three seemingly took an Uber from his home early Monday to the Oak Tree Inn Motel, which was less than a mile from his $4 million Encinco home. Come on, family. Come on, family. When you live in, in a $4 million house, Checking into a motel, don't even register with you. It ain't even something you think about. It's not even a thought. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill myself. So I'm gonna just check into this little raggedy ass motel. Come on, fam. This is nasty motel. Even in death, you know, a person that's on that's on a certain level is not gonna go into some seedy motel and and, and do that. They would probably go and check into somewhere that they're familiar with, right? They're gonna kill themselves in a hotel. They probably check into a hotel that they were familiar with. You ain't checking into no uh, to the Roach Motel when you're worth millions of dollars under any circumstances. So I want to see what the details of this letter was. So 
How come they haven't shared the letter yet, fam? Anybody asking that question? You know, usually when somebody get killed by the police or something, we want to see some evidence. We want to see what we want to make sure that the that that what happened is what the police say happened. Police said the man reached for a gun. Well, let us see the video. Y'all say he he left a, a suicide note. Let us see the let us see the suicide let us see the suicide note. Let us read for ourselves what it says. And let's just make sure that a handwriting expert expert will confirm that it is his handwriting. After more than a decade in Hollywood, Twitch died by suicide on, Oct on December 13th, 2022. He was 40 years old. He was survived by his wife, Allison Hoker, a contestant on So You Think You Can Dance season two, and their three children, Wesley Fowler, Maddox, Laurel, and Zaya. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Uh, it is with the heaviest of hearts that I have to share my husband. Stephen has left us, Hoka said in a statement at the time of Twitch's death. Stephen lit up every room he stepped into. He valued family, friends, and community above all else. And leading with love and light was everything to him. He was the backbone of our family, the best husband and father, and an inspiration to his fans. Would you accept that the best husband and father and an inspiration to his fans and a guy who lit up every room who had no history of suicide attempts, mental health breakdowns, financial issues. Uh, the mob ain't after him. He's not involved in any type of extramarital affair, would just kill himself would just put a gun to his head and blow his head out. Would you accept that? Would you, with that letter, would you release a letter like that? Or would you be more measured in your words? Maybe, maybe like, um, it is with deep regret that we must inform you that our beloved uh, Stephen has passed. We are all shocked and can't believe this happened. We are asking for anyone who may have information about his death, come forward. Because we do not believe that Stephen took his own life. Come on, family. Come on, family. I'm not buying it, man. John G, what up? Appreciate you. What trips me out is that Joanne Rayford, what's up? Everybody accepted, like all of these people who were usually suspicious of everything, they just accepted the death and just kept it moving. They accepted her tears and just kept it moving. And it makes you wonder, if Stephen wasn't a black man, would more people care about what happened to him? I mean, they say they loved him, but when the rubber meet the road and you need some justice, again, it's just us. I'm gonna put a link to, I'm gonna invite y'all to jump on here. I wanna hear what y'all got to say, cause you know, 
Maybe it's just me, I don't know. I'm going to invite y'all to jump on the live and see what y'all got to say here. Mancia, what's up? Did I say it right? Oh, oh, Thomasina. Thomasina, what's up, Thomasina? Thomasina. Well, that sounds like you can do a lot with that name. Thomasina. Thomasina. That's a billboard. That's on something. That's on something big. Thomasina. That sounds like a destination. Humane Society. What's up, Humane Society? Okay, I'm gonna let a, let a few of y'all come in and we can chop it up right quick. Now, let me know what y'all think about this. I just put the, uh, I just put a link in the description, a link to join the live is in the description. All you gotta do is click on that link and uh, you'll be in the queue and I'll bring you on in. Let me hear what y'all are saying about this. M. Smith said, I never thought he killed himself. Okay, here's an interest, interesting perspective here. Siobhan says, not everything is for public, for the public. The family most likely suspected the wife from the beginning and they probably were mad as hell just because we didn't see them. Doesn't mean they weren't concerned. Concern weren't concerned. Yeah, true story. We're going to need some action now. We're we, we going to need some type of investigations or something, man. You know, like, hey, if you don't want us to know, you don't want us to talk about it, don't bring us in at all. Don't let us know. Don't give us the details. Don't tell us this man killed himself inside of a hotel room and he and and, and then let us know that there was no signs of suicide. There were no, I mean, there were no uh, history of suicidal attempts. There was no history of mental breakdowns. There was no history of financial uh, uh, disruption. There was no history of marital uh, problems and expect we just gonna take it. Don't tell us none of that. And then we won't comment on it. Fact, don't even let us know he was dead. But if you put it out there, we are gonna speak on it. Trying to take us for some fools. What's up, Melissa? Hello. Hi. Hey. What's up, Melissa? Nothing much. What's up, Willie? Oh, trying to find out, trying to get some good old justice. <laughs> what do you think about this case? It's certainly unique. It's different. I'm not sure yet. You're not sure? What, no, I'm not what, sure. What are you leaning toward? I don't think there's enough information out there quite yet for me to make a determination. Okay. All right. Okay, well, we'll take that. But thank you for jumping in. You're welcome. All right. We got the Eddie. Luke, my brother. What's up, my brother? Man, missing you, man. Wishing you were still in the game, man. Change some of these things, man. It got out of hand a long time ago, man. We're going to be all right, though, man. We just got to get with each other. That's right. That's right. Also on this, on this Twitch thing, man. I, I'm, I'm not familiar with, with the guy that got killed, so mm -hmm. it, it'd be hard for me to give you a good opinion. Um. I, I just uh think it's the same old, same old. You know, that's how they do us now. When 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 they want to take something from us and when they don't want us to have something, they just take us. Huh. So we we just got to we just got to be together, man. So they got to stop taking us. We we the only one can stop them from taking us, but we gotta stop taking each other too. True story. So, you know, 
true story. That's the, yeah, and, and 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 that's a whole that's a whole different live right there. <laughs> For yeah. sure, for sure. I'm um, this is my first time, man. I appreciate it, man. I never got recognition, man, for nothing in my life, man, but work. Uh -huh. That's all I do is work, man. So you know, I'm trying to get it together, man, with with my nephews, little brothers, young young cats from the hood neighborhood. Yeah. You know, I'm in I'm in Memphis, Tennessee, Orange Mound. You know, and uh, it's getting bad for us, man. And these drugs just taking us out the game, man. Left and right. Right, right. So we, so we, we just got to give it, give it back to them, man. It's they shit stuff, man. So we, we, we just got to give it back to them. You're talking, and, and you're talking to your niece, you're talking to your nephews and nieces and stuff, right? Yes, sir. Well, that's where it started. At. Each one, reach one, teach one. See, for sure. And you, you like, it's hard to just try to not get overwhelmed by how big the problem is, because if everybody. If if everybody who who talked about the problem and and felt overwhelmed would just decide that you know what even if I am overwhelmed I'm gonna do my part then we can chip away at this stuff you know we can chip away at a lot of the problems but everybody got to just decide I don't care what everybody else is doing I'm gonna do my part right so everybody do their part and then next thing you know you know we're in a much better position. Right. Yeah. I appreciate right. you. Buddy. Appreciate you. Too. I thank you, brother. All right, my man. Yes, sir. Eddie Mac. Well, you, you see with D boy. Look at my boy with <laughs> what, what you got there. What's that? A, a pit? Yes, sir. Yeah. There you go. Go stop playing so much, man. man. You don't want to talk. What's his name? Smoke G. Smoke, Smoke Gray. Smoke gray. <laughs> smoke G, smoke gray. I yes. smoke my man. Mastermind. What's Willie up? D. Is this a legend? Is this a legend himself? Yeah. Willie D from the ghetto boy. I sure do hope so. Praise God, man. I got to say you doing good work out here. And I told you a wise man told me when I was a child, I ain't with being broke. And it changed my life. You did real come tough. on, Willie. I had to, and, and, and with this subject matter, you you this controversial subject matter. We have to give the ghetto boy Willie D his props. He broke the story and he said it was fishy from the beginning. Am I lying? Straight up. Straight, straight up. up. Yeah. Straight up. You came on here and you did uh your content was hold up, hold up, and I'm with you because like you said. This is natural, um, natural suspicion. We're not gonna just let this ride. That you, this the girl off of, uh, off of uh, the, the talk show, Ellen. Uh, this is who now? This is the the victim off of the off of Ellen talk show. Twitch, you talking about Twitch? Yeah, he was on Ellen, right? Yeah, he was the DJ. Yeah, the DJ for uh, uh, the Ellen show. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I'm giving you props for doing your due diligence with your content, and you were getting down to the bottom of it from the beginning, you knew it didn't sound right. So that's what I'm saying. We got to give people they props for breaking stories like this. You know what I mean? Because you knew this was a brother like us, and he was uh, a married guy, and he got murdered under suspicious activity. And, and when you brought that content, you let the world know, like, hold on, don't just buy the story. Look at look at it for what it is. And, and I, I got to give you props for doing that, Mr. Willie D. Yeah, because th think about what's going on, and I appreciate that. But th but think about think about what's going on. If they can do something like that to a millionaire star guy that's on TV every day, coming into the mainstream homes of America, just imagine what they can do to the guy who don't have millions of dollars, who don't have a big spotlight on himself, a guy who a lot of people would just wouldn't even think about if if they came up missing if, if people just right. whatever story them people spin people would just accept it and then move on i used to yeah. watch, when i used to watch tv uh watching the news growing up my mama believed anything they said on the news if they said it she believed it on the news yeah. they said it, believed it and i and i grew up questioning everything like i would wonder like well why would they say 
this guy reached for a gun. Just because the police say he did it don't mean he did it. And then, and guess what? They didn't even find a gun. So with that type of mentality, I must ask the legend, how did you feel about the death of Easy e What was your opinion then and now? Well, Easy e I mean, that, that was, it was a shocker, man, you know, but you know, there are people that are saying that that Easy e didn't really uh, contract AIDS, you know, in the traditional sense of like having sex, to, you know, like they was like, there's people that believe that that he was stuck with something, you know. Was you suspicious back then or, or even now? Or, or what was your thinking on, on the uh, death of Easy? You know, it was still so new at the time. I just didn't really, I, I really didn't know what to think. I didn't really know. Okay. What, I didn't really know what to make of it. Right. So, and I and I'm and I'm still kind of like that. I'm like, damn, you know, I just <laughs> I know that there's a lot of wicked people in the world, and I know that I know that there are hit squ hit squads out there and hit men and women out there who kill people, who take people out for for political reasons, you know. So yep. I'm always suspicious anyway. I'm always suspicious. I, I I'm I rule more so on the side of, you know, I, you know, like it's like what whatever these people are saying happened, I always listen to them in reverse. Yeah. I think like the truth is the reverse. Like whatever they yeah. say, I think typically I think the truth is the opposite. But when you broke this case, you came with facts. Right, right. True story. Exactly. As soon as the Twitch case, I'm sorry, you came with the facts. So just like Easy E, the facts are he had three children on the way and none of them had tested positive. So that makes, that's a red flag in my opinion. And I, I just want to give you props because you know you dropped, you, you dropped the Bob Marley story also. That's another story I watched on your content. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was crazy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm on that side. I, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be educated by my people. Your people gonna teach you better than them, cause you, you want your people to learn the truth. You know, that's what I respect about your organization. I appreciate that, Mastermind. Thanks for Thank joining, you, brother. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, man. Boom. Who was that, Miss Renee? Good morning. How you doing? Can you hear me? Hey, I'm gonna hop out here on top. Okay, I'm good. Um, I watch your show and I love it. Thank you know, you. and the question is, you know, you brought up a lot of good points. The question is, did the autopsy report have gunpowder on his hand? Number two, what was his attitude towards the Uber driver? I think he personally went there to meet someone, and that's why he didn't leave a note because he, he was going back home and he met him shortly down the street at the hotel. But when he got there, he realized, was he forced to write that letter? Who wrote it? Well, I mean, it's a lot of unanswered questions, but and he deserved a public viewing just like Nipsey and everybody else because he was just as big as they were. I really thought Ellen was going to do that, but I haven't heard anything from her unless I'm missing something. Yeah. Well, the autopsy report does, ha does not mention anything about uh, gunpowder on his hands. All it mentioned was that uh, the toxicology report uh, confirmed that he didn't have any alcohol or drugs in his system at the time of his death on December 13th. So they, and that, yeah, that, that's a good point. They never talked about any type of gunpowder residue on his hands. And I don't care, someone heard a gunshot. So he went there the afternoon, she didn't report it to the next morning, correct? Uh, I think that, uh, let me see, let's see, it was Tuesday, December 13, 2022, and I was 11, I was at the hotel manager, and yeah, it was the next day that it was reported, that she reported it. Okay, so if my husband gone for that long, the car is there, and nothing, I'm going that night. Right. I'm going that night, and then somebody heard some type of gunshot or something but for you guys not to release anything mm -hmm. he just signed a lot of deals with hdtv another one and it's just 
nobody is like pushing towards, like I say, besides you. I don't see there was no public announcement by the police department. This, he was a celebrity. Let's just treat him like as he was. He was a celebrity because when Ellen wasn't there, he wasn't like the producer of the board of the um, show. Okay, something going on up there. It's a lot of extra noise. Okay, we had to uh end Renee. She, it was a, too much noise going on. I don't know if you can hear me, Miss Renee, but yeah, thank you for that input. Thank you. Thank you for that input. True story. Like, what's up with the with the with the gunpowder residue? You know, they say they found him in the shower unresponsive with a gunshot to his head. They found him in the shower. Come on, fam, that don't make sense. They found him in the shower with a gunshot wound to his head. Why would a damn millionaire go to a raggedy ass motel and take a shower and then kill himself? Or, or step into a shower and kill himself? It don't make sense. Come on, family. That don't make sense. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Mac Truth, what's up, Mac Truth? Yeah, I'm not buying it at all. I'm not buying it. I am not buying it. I'm not buying what they're selling, fam. There needs to be an investigation into this man's death. There needs to be an investigation. I don't know what they're doing out there in LA, but there needs to be an investigation into that man's death. Because I do not believe for one second that he killed himself. No history of suicide attempts, no history of mental health problems, no financial distress. The wife participated in the investigation, the so-called investigation into her husband's death confirming the suicide. And she previously had opened up about not noticing any warning signs of depression. This is somebody you're super close to. This is somebody you dance, this is a dance partner. This ain't somebody who go off to work by himself. This is somebody who you dance with every day. You're together, you, they, they, they like this fam. Y'all seen them on, online? They like this online. And you didn't know something? Come on, man, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm not buying it. Miss Renee was speaking about the Uber driver. She got the Uber driver supposed to take him to the motel. Where is the Uber driver? The Uber, Uber driver can make a million dollars right now just telling his story. Where is the Uber driver? Y'all know we live in, in a transparent society. We live in a transparent society. Everybody looking for a quick come up. And it's and you can be become a celebrity like this. You latch yourself on to the hottest story in Hollywood, and you a millionaire just like this. He could tell his book. Hell, he can just make up a story. I saw uh, 
I'm the last person that Twitch was with before his death. I drove him to the motel and he told me this story. He could make up a lie and get paid. Or he could just tell the truth and still get paid. Even if the truth is just, just, a, just a very small detail of information. He sat in the back seat and he wouldn't say anything. He had a stoic look on his face. He was hard to read. I spoke to him and said, good morning, good afternoon. And he said, good afternoon. Or uh, he didn't say anything. And I thought that was strange. I dropped him off and I watched him go inside. And that was the last time I saw him. Where is that story? Where is it? Where is the Uber driver? Where is the Uber driver? What is the receptionist at the motel saying? The person who checked them in? What, where is that person? Where are the interviews? We film everything, fam. Everything is being seen. People are all inside folks' houses, watching them use the restroom. We see everything. Where is the Uber driver? Where are the hotel, motel employees? Why aren't they talking? What about the maid who so-called saw him in the shower, who so-called found him in the shower? What about the police officers, the investigators? Why aren't they talking? Yeah, where are these people, fam? Where are they? Where are all of these people? We ain't seen nothing. We ain't heard nothing. Where they at? I'll read a few more comments, fam, and I'm gonna shut it down. Miss Pace, stay positive all the time. What's up, honey, 69? Dragon God 1212. Thomas Cena. Mm -hmm. Condolences, condolences, condolences. Tough one right there. What's up, Lady D? Sophia Messiah. Actually, that's not Messiah, that's, what is that? Massage? Sophia Massage? Shelly Leftwich. Yeah, fam, uh, good point, Shelly. We ain't seen no surveillance footage. Where's surveillance tapes? You know they. You know it's there. It's got to be there. There's got to be surveillance somewhere. Some, it got a camera somewhere on that property. Picked them up. Why we ain't seen no? How come we ain't seen nothing? No surveillance tapes. Nah, fam. 
Nah. Nah. Nah, fam, this ain't right. This don't sit well with me. This don't sit well with me at all. All right, fam, that's my time. I got to move around, but I appreciate y'all for joining the live. Let's keep the conversation going. I'm going to end the live, but I'm not going to end the discussion. Till next time, fam. No more talk.